friends welcome back to my channel my name is Roshan and as you read the title we are going to install and review the bootleggers ROM for LG G3 based on Android 9 Pi and um, it's an unofficial build um, maintained by Hardstyler so thanks to him so I have lots of things to talk about this ROM but as usual we'll do the installation part then we'll do the review part uh, and if you are not interested in the uh, installation part then uh, you can skip ahead I'll try to put a timestamp somewhere here and uh, yes if you want to watch the installation part you can at least watch the new boot animation so i totally recommend before installing use the um, backup feature on the twerp um, backup your data then maintain a battery percentage of at least 75 percentage do that and uh, you're good to go so i'll put the links down in the description for the rom and the gapps package so without any further ado let's get started i'm sorry for any background noise as you can see i'm running a usb extended rom right now and let me show you i've already placed the gapps package and the rom package in the my internal storage so you can see the bootleggers rom and the open gapps so i'm using the micro version so now let's reboot to recovery and we'll install the rom so let me go to the advanced and uh, we'll go to recovery So now we are inside Twerp recovery. So first, I would like you to do a backup so that you don't lo uh, lose your data in this process, or uh, you know some error can cause that issue. So first, make sure you backup. Just click on backup and just swipe. It will backup your data. And first, we'll do the wipe, advanced wipe, and we'll uh, check the Dalvik cache data um, and system, and just swipe to erase. So to wipe everything, then go to home, then click on install and select the ROM. Then click on add more zips and select on the gapps package and just swipe to confirm. So while installing this make sure your battery is at least 75%. So better battery will give you more optimal performance and if the battery is like down to 50%. The performance might degrade because these are older devices and you know it all usually happens because that's why developers and all other people who have tested the rooms uh, say that maintain your battery at least 75 percent or more it's not necessary but you might not know what will happen so just to be safe keep your battery up so the flashing is complete and if you can if you want you can choose to reboot system and it will ask you to uh, install to up you can uh, click on do not install or you can swipe to just install to up so i'm going to go ahead and click on do not install and that should reboot my device for first time and let's see the boot animations i'm seeing it for the first time so hopefully it's better it's just curiosity the whole process the reboot and everything should take like 12 minutes to 15 minutes okay the boot animation seems nice So assuming that you are waiting for my review to uh, basically decide whether to install it or not then I have some uh, notes written down uh, so that I don't forget about uh, anything that I want to say. So I'll say pros and cons so I'll start with the pros. So pros are, um, it's not a pro but uh, you can say the occasional restart. So when my phone is on idle sometimes uh, it restarts automatically. It used to happen in the recent uh, rooms which I use like Pixel Experience, Liquid Remix, um, Resurrection Remix, Linear JOS, all these rooms had this issue. But uh, the AOSP Extended Room, the last room which I used, didn't have that issue. This does not seem to have that problem. So that's one of the good thing about this. So second one is the it has a three third-party applications installed. Uh, automatically and i think it's a good thing uh, one is timber music player so that's the good one and the mix file manager that is one and we have one camera roll which is um, 
not the it is a replacement to the gallery app and we don't have a gallery app inside so this is the gallery app we get by default camera roll that's also good and the third thing that is good about this is the system font so by default the system font is this one hopefully you can see that and the reflection yes i guess you can see that so that's the default font and i kind of like that and um, yes that's all about the pros and we'll talk about the cons the bad stuff so as i as you know the things i don't like in a room is the, the heating issues that it can cause so lg g3 is all mostly notorious for the heating chipset um what can we do so this thing runs a little hotter uh, mostly warm than usual uh, if you don't like this kind of stuff i would suggest you use the aos pex in the room so i reviewed it my last video if you want to watch that i'll put a card up here somewhere or uh, i'll put a link down in the description for the review part and uh, yes the second thing is pixel launcher pixel launcher is by default here and we have another launcher so we can choose between them but pixel launcher has the same issue uh, which i face in the aos pixel room it has some this animation uh, swipe up to uh, swipe up animation uh, the app drawer animation it always stays the same so that's one of the issue i'm facing it always always wiggles uh, like that and uh, third thing that i'm facing is the google assistant google assistant is uh, very bad uh, recognizing the voice and all that stuff and uh, it's not like native installation of google assistant it's a uh, um, it's not good that's what i would say uh, if I compare it to Aspect Syndrome. Aspect Syndrome is very good at handling the Google Assistant, so that's one of the things that I like about that room. And the fourth thing, are the connectivity issues with the mobile data. Mobile data, it's it only shows 4G and the speed is slow, and uh, no LTE. I don't know why. Uh, is it the symbol or just uh, it shows 4g that's it just let me know in the comments uh, did you like this room did you know about this room i will probably switch back to asp extended and uh, we'll see more room videos are coming up and we'll find out which is the best room that is available for lg g3 so to watch that videos please subscribe to my channel and i think that's it for this video if you liked it please hit the like button share this with your friends subscribe to my channel when you subscribe please hit the bell icon and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye